Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at a CPA exam simulations that deals specifically with ratios. Now the first thing you might be asking yourself, do they give simulations about ratios? And the answer is yes, they do give simulations about ratio. Matter of fact, in the year 2025, one of the AI CPA released simulation was about ratio. Now how do they give you these ratios? They don't, they don't expect you to answer the question, for example, what's current ratio? Current assets divided by current liabilities. Yes, you need to know the formula, but oftentimes the formula is giving. For example, in this simulation right in front of us, they're giving us what current ratio is. They're telling us current ratio is 3.0 to 1. So sometimes they ask you for this information indirectly, testing your understanding of it. And this is what they did in the AICPA 2025. They showed you how with changes in inventory and account receivable and accounts payable would affect the ratios. So it's very important that you understand how these ratios are structured because you don't have, I mean, knowing the formula, it helps, but I saw it in other simulations where they actually give you the formula. So they don't, they don't expect you to memorize it, but if I was in your shoes, I would always know certain ratios, current ratio, uh, 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 yeah, current ratio, asset test ratio, gross profit margin. Those are important ratio that you would need to be familiar with. But in this simulation, what they're asking us to compute is current assets, quick assets, current liabilities. So basically, it's they're giving you the ratios and they want you to work backward in order to answer these questions. Now I created this these tables to make it look like it's an actual simulation. The simulation might look a little bit differently, but this is what a simulation would look like. So the following ratios were prepared from the data included in the December 31st X2 financial statement of Adams Corporation. All what we are given as a number is owner's equity as 950,000. Now we are giving a bunch of ratios, the answers for the bunch of ratios, and they want us to compute these figures, current assets, quick asset, current liabilities, working capital, long-term asset, and long-term debt. Can we do that? And the answer is yes. You know, you need to know how to solve this. In a sense, you need to know how to deal with ratios, how to work backward, how to work backward in order to answer these questions. Let's go ahead and solve this simulation. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. So how do we start in solving this puzzle? Let's call it a puzzle. Well, we are giving the number is equity, owner's equity. Okay, um, current ratio, that doesn't help because current ratio is current assets divided by current liabilities. We don't have this. Asset test ratio is quick assets divided by current liabilities. We don't have any of these figures. Current assets, the current liabilities, we don't have current assets. Owner's equity to total asset. Now let's focus on this number here. Owner's equity to total asset equal to 0.4 to 1. What does that mean? It means we have owner's equity as 950 divided by assets we don't know. We're going to call this, let's call it A, divided by A for assets equal to 0.4. Well, let's solve for A. 0.4A equal to 950. A assets equal to 950 divided by 0.4, which will give us 2,375,000. Okay, now we have total assets of 2,375,000. That doesn't help much but it could be uh, we could solve something else. How? Well, if we are told total assets is 2,375, 
Okay, this is total assets. This is what we find out. And we are told too that current asset to total asset is 0.3. What does that mean? It means on the balance sheet, you have current assets and you have long-term assets. Current assets are 0.3 and long-term asset are 0.7, which equal to, in total, 1. We do have the 1. We have 1 as 2,375,000, which is total asset is 2,375,000. We are told current asset represent 30% of that. Now we can find current assets. So if we take this figure times 0.3 times 0.3, that's equal to 700. 12,500. I just figured out the current asset, 712,500. Seven, seven, now also I can find out what's my long-term asset because they're asking about my long-term asset. So notice it's a puzzle. Uh, it's if I take or if I take 2,375,000 minus 712,500 same thing but let's do it 70% 2,375,000 times 0.7 that's going to give me 1,662,500 let me do it one more time 2,375,000 just double check the math times 0.7 that's 1,600,000 so Long-term asset is 1,662,500. Wow, I already figured out two of these figures, which is I figured out my asset structure. What should you do now? You want to go to Farhat Lectures. Look at additional simulations, MCQs, resources that's going to help you. Whether you are an accounting student, CPE exam candidate, CMA exam candidate, it does not really matter. Invest in yourself. Good luck. That's the best investment you could make and stay safe.